A push for equality in pay raises for Clay County's veteran teachers. The school district is locked in negotiations with the local union. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean is digging into the details of the impasse. He's joining us after reaching out to both sides, starting with the union leaders. Joe? Right. Union leaders say the planned raises for new teachers, those are great, but they say the district's plan leaves out those teachers with more experience. The last round of negotiations was Friday, and that's where the process froze. Talks have stalled between the Clay County School District and the county's Education Association. Leaders from both were at the bargaining table Friday night discussing how to distribute state-funded pay raises for teachers. The bill that was signed by the governor puts $400 million towards raising the minimum teacher salary and $100 million to raise the pay of veteran teachers. The Clay County District's plan would provide new teachers with a raise of about $6,000 and veteran teachers about $600. And so that's the sticking point. Um, we felt that that was unfair given that um, the profession is in such crisis right now and that our teachers who are veterans needed to be given at least, um, some of them are their only, only one employed in their house right now. You know, their spouses have lost jobs and uh, they needed to be at least given a comparable salary. So Kidwell says state lawmakers' plan for those raises is to lift Florida's average teacher pay statistic, which is one of the lowest in the country, but says that mindset is a cosmetic one and doesn't account for the teachers with years of experience. It will decimate a profession that's already in crisis. We have teachers leaving, resigning, so we could not in good conscience you know, agree to a proposal that leaves our veterans behind. So that's the sticking point. Now, in just the last hour, I got a comment from the school district on the deadlock negotiations. Spokesperson Nicole Young said, quote, uh, the district is committed to working collaboratively with our teachers and in accordance with state statute as it relates to teacher salaries. Well, as of tonight, there aren't any more negotiation sessions scheduled. I'm live tonight, Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station. Joe, what will happen if they can't reach an agreement? Well, we know that Florida is a no-strike state, so there's no chance of a, a teacher strike in Clay County. What happens if they're still at an impasse, the two parties would bring in a mediator to help work things out, but ultimately, the school district has the final call when all is said and done. The district is supposed to certify where they are in the process with the state government on December 1st. Mary. Joe, thank you.